speaking tongues with your sister while leaving a trail of broken-hearted best girls in your wake, it's sadly become a standard in this bizarre subgenre. And while fans weren't exactly pleased about Kirino being the one to steal Kyosuke away, at the very least, it was still within the realm of cringy anime romance that we had all come to expect. Deciding to marry her and go all in, that's a bridge too far. <laughs> This wasn't so much a comedy plus heaping piles of innuendos, this was full on support for blood related bed breaking. Again, we don't deny we got some major morbid delight from watching Makoto get stabbed by one of his many, 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 many lovers after she discovered that he had cheated on her with one of the other poor saps that agreed to mount his extra curriculum. <gasps> Too bad that on the day this abysmal series was about to end, an actual murder took place with some shockingly similar circumstances surrounding it. What to do in the face of such a moral conundrum? Delay the episode and post replacement footage of a nice boat to avoid any controversy. Yep, you can see how that worked out great. One hurts. This one really hurts. <laughs> we were so ready to forgive the dumpster fire aspects of this latest series, including a shocking start to the third season with weird censorship of blood, just as long as they gave us this monumental fight between two sins, the respect it deserved in adaptation. Well, they didn't. <laughs> Instead, they dishonored the lion sin of pride by reducing the reveal of the one into a meh moment, while the physicality of the fight was totally ruined due to the animation being of such poor quality. Eskinor truly deserves so much better than this. Daddy mm Ayn's -hmm. fully embracing his role as the big bad of this fantasy world isn't all that surprising. <laughs> I mean, we've seen him viciously kill off his opponents before and use the NPCs of the world as his tools on numerous occasions. Apparently, some fans weren't so convinced and were outraged to discover their precious skeleton was now full on chaotic neutral, willing to lead innocents to their deaths for his grand amusement. <laughs> That, or they just couldn't handle the scene with the carnivorous cockroaches. <laughs> Go hand in hand, but even within the safe confines of cell shaded animation, seeing someone mercilessly gun down police officers, reporters, and other innocents like he's going for a world breaking kill count tends to ruffle some feathers. <laughs> The heaping mounds of dead bodies would be bad enough, but the fact that Shishigami decided to conclude his rampage by dropping a passenger plane and killing everyone aboard pushed the envelope a tad too far. Cyborg or not, realistic murders on that kind of scale tend not to go down well with some audiences. <laughs> for the imminent arrival of Psychopaths 2, the original neo-noir detective thriller was condensed into an 11 hour long episode collection, albeit with never before seen footage. They might have thought their timing was perfect, at least until life once again decided to imitate art. I want to recreate this emotional scene in a place where more and more people can see it and be touched. I guess that's the fate of an artist, isn't it? Turns out on the eve the fourth episode was set to debut, the one that chronicled the murderous student who butchered and arranged her classmates like statues, a real-life decapitation took place with eerily similar circumstances. You can see why it was hurriedly taken off air. Crime coefficient 472. Enforcement mode 